So, of course, I got uh, probably clickbaited into... Shut up, Keemstar's video. I probably got clickbaited by this video here. It says KSI Spar, whatever. It has a picture of Carson in there. It says he's back, so... Uh, and it even says, call me Carson Returns. So, this is going to be the single most painful thing I've ever done in my entire life. I'm going to watch a Keemstar video. It's terrible. It really is terrible. It's so, it's, it's one of the worst things you could ever do to yourself. Um, it should be considered self-mutilation. That's how bad his videos are. What I find annoying, though... <clears throat> is the way that, like, in general, uh, Keemstar talks about Carson. It bothers me. He talks about it like news, which annoys the shit out of me because he pushed it and sensationalized it as much as possible to even make it news in the first place. Let's go over what Carson did. Carson was 19, and he was talking to a 17-year-old, and they were flirting on Discord mutually, and they were both sexting. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. That's nothing. It's not illegal. It's not immoral. A two-year age gap is totally fine. There's nothing wrong there. And every single time we talked about this Carson situation, <clears throat> right, it started with, oh, my God, Carson's talking to minors, right? And so the problem when you do stuff like that is when you say that somebody's talking to minors, you're, you're really just kind of, you're usually being very intentionally, or you can very easily intentionally mislead people, right? <clears throat> so when you hear that an adult is talking to minors, the first thought in your head is like a 30-year-old and like a 15-year-old, right? But technically, it could be an 18 and a 17-year-old, right? So the reason that people will say adult versus minor and not be specific about age is usually to mislead you to sensationalize the story. Carson was 19. This girl was 17. If she was 18 and he was 20, nobody would be talking. But, of course, because he's 19 and she's 17 and we're on Twitter, and honestly, on the internet, the morals of children gets to dictate the app, or just the internet spaces in general. People are like, oh my god, gross. Then after we identified the ages, which, by the way, Keemstar was very... Excuse me, tactical about making sure he didn't establish what the ages were in his first release with Carson... Even though he knew the ages. Right? After that was debunked that the ages were 1970, all of a sudden it's like, well, there's a power dynamic there. So he must have abused it. And so that's what we call moving the goalposts. You're wrong about the age, so now you pivot to a new point. Power dynamics exist, for sure. But the existence of a power dynamic doesn't mean that that power dynamic is abusive. You can more easily abuse power dynamics, but it doesn't mean that there's inherent abuse, right? So Carson was 19. She was 17. It was all mutual. Being famous doesn't mean you don't get to date people that aren't famous. That's ridiculous. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. To sit here and say because there's a power dynamic involved means that you shouldn't engage is literally saying that people of different socioeconomic classes shouldn't mix with each other. You're saying that a rich guy shouldn't marry a poor girl. That's what you're saying because there's a power dynamic there. You're saying that the, that the nerd in school shouldn't date the popular girl because she has a power dynamic. She's famous in that circle, right? You're saying that they can't date. Now, are there instances where people are super obsessed? Sure. This girl didn't exhibit any. And there was no way anybody reasonably would think that she was obsessed to a point of like a, to have belong in like the hospital. She's not. The argument's bullshit. The way that you abuse your power dynamic is when you suggest that you'll give somebody something or you'll take something away with your platform if they do or don't do something that you want them to do. So if Carson said, if you show me your tits, I'll give you this because I'm famous. Or if you don't show me your tits, I'll ruin your life with my platform. That's an abuse of power dynamic. You have a fucking 19-year-old that was so afraid of getting canceled on Twitter, he thought it was like somehow wrong to talk to the 17-year-old. And then lastly, the, th the third pivot, the, th the, th the third goal or the third uh, argument, the second goal post moving is, uh, well, technically it's illegal. You're right. Sure, in some states. We know that the government is very slow to pick up with like the internet in general. But like, here's my thing. Let's just talk about morally. Let's not even talk about it legally. Because I don't give a shit if he gets arrested or whatever for like the, the, the pictures. Morally, it's okay for a 19-year-old and a 17-year-old to sleep together. Right? Yes. It is. 
So why is it morally incorrect for a 19 to 17 year old to exchange pictures? You could say like, well, they might show them, maybe, but like you can't just assume somebody's going to commit a crime uh, unfounded. Right, that's like if you're holding a pack of gum in the store, and that guy's, and the, the owner's like uh, calls the police and be like, he was holding it, he might have stolen it, even though you didn't leave the store yet. So who the how the fuck could you know? That's what it's like. Carson got screwed, and he's been gone for a while, and good for him to have the money to do it. But he got screwed over for nothing. What he did amounted to literally nothing. So anyway, Keemstar was the main person who canceled him. So that's great. So now let's just kind of skip through here, and we're not gonna watch like most of this because who cares. I don't give a fuck about any of these people. It's a fight. It's dumb. Nobody cares. What is this? The D'Amelios? Oh, look, Charlie D'Amelio. Oh, okay. They're having a show. Who cares? This McDonald's. Great. This seems really good. Um, I don't care. David Dobrik, I guess. I don't know. Dream fans. What is this? See what you did there. Dreaming in a little celebrate. Oh, you're very annoying. You went to buy. All Dude, right. Because call me. And speaking about things changing, things are going to change. Let's get right into the propaganda. Carson is coming back. That's right. He never really left, but he's been on an alt account and he's been tweeting and he's been very active. But sometimes he signs into his main. Okay. And he forgets that he's not in his alt and we see him tweet. Carson tweeted out, I just want to be bred and breaded. Okay. And then he deleted. I think it's bread. I think it's bread and breeded, but okay. Maybe it is breaded. Deleted that tweet right away and followed up by saying this. Guys, I keep tweeting without realizing I'm not on my private. Accidentally tweet it. Carry on. Also, give me a few more weeks. And speaking about weeks, in a couple weeks, we are going to see the one, the only Ariana. That's it? Why the fuck did I watch that video? I mean, I only watched four seconds of it. Oh, look, Ariana Grande's in Fortnite. Great news. Um, okay. Yeah, that was dumb. Why the fuck did we watch that? Okay, well... You know, my point still stands that, um, car, you know, <clears throat> this idiot here. What the hell? Back. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, Carson, Carson Keemstar, uh, quite literally deplatformed. Uh, call me Carson for money. Never apologized. And this is kind of a pattern of be really shitty, inappropriate behavior from Keemstar. Keemstar is like 40 years old, right? You don't have, like, stop being a child. Stop acting like a fucking kid. You're an adult. Like, act like a fucking adult.